Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to test out Altea's first ever product, which is this little guy right here. So if you want to see how this product performs, then keep on watching. So guys, this is the Velvet Petal Loose Powder. This one promises to minimize the appearance of your pores, make your foundation last, and mattifies the skin without dehydration. Its main ingredient is the Altea Flower Seed Extract, which is said to contain antioxidants that invigorate and hydrates the skin. The size is really small that it can fit in your pocket, perfect for people who's always on the go and needs a quick touch-up. Here's a quick side-by-side -side size comparison with the Nichido Final Powder and the Altea Velvet Petal Loose Powder. I like its fresh fruity floral scent and fine milled texture. The powder looks super white like a baby powder. I'm not sure if it's going to leave a white cast on my face so let's jump into the application. By the way, I already did my foundation off cam to save time. I used L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 106 Sun Beige. To accentuate the high points of my face, I'm using NYX HD Concealer in CW and blend it using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge to perfection. And now for the star of the show, we're going to set my makeup using Altea's Velvet Petal Loose Powder. Here I'm using their Floppy Puff which is obviously included in the package to set my under eye. Let's put a bit more on my under eye and let it cook while I'll do my brows. I'm using the Benefit Precisely My Brow in number 6. And tame it using Ready Set Brow. For the moment of truth, let's brush off the excess powder. I love how it melts into my skin and leaves a velvety feeling. It's like I didn't put a lot of product on my face. And I think it actually works. I'm just gonna put some bronzer, blush, highlight, basically finish the rest of my makeup and be back with my final thoughts. Altea Loose Powder definitely blurred out my pores and looks really good on my skin. However, it does leave a white cast on my face when I tried flash photography. I recommend this product for daytime use as it can really make your skin look flawless under the sun. And also for people who's always on the go as its size makes it efficient for traveling because it can fit in tiny pockets. So what do you think of this first product from Altea? Share your thoughts on the comment section below. So yeah, that's it for today's video. As always, I will link all the details in the description box below. Like or unlike this video, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!